Taiwan officials broke ground on a Kaohsiung shipyard that will build the first indigenous submarines. This milestone was two years in the making, and it's a key step toward producing a fleet of eight indigenous subs to counter China. Authorities say the first prototype could enter sea trials in 2025. The Navy's Haihu submarine carries a long pennant symbolizing victory. It slowly enters Kaohsiung's harbor to kick off the groundbreaking ceremony for a submarine shipyard. In March 2017, CSBC, the Navy and the National Zhongshan Institute of Science and Technology signed an MOU to build indigenous submarines. In the two years following, the project weathered trials and tribulations as the parties locked horns over budget and strived to obtain the export licenses. At long last, all the requisite contracts have been finalized and construction can begin. While we were pushing this project, we had the common experience of being heavily criticized, questioned, discredited and even threatened. But today we can show everyone the most concrete evidence possible that Taiwan can do it. The shipbuilding authorities expressed their resolve to complete the project. They gave the president a miniature model of what is to be the first made in Taiwan submarine. 60 months from now, it will be ready to run. In 78 months, it will be finished and delivered to the military. That's our current plan. The first submarine prototype is expected to enter sea trials in 2025. The goal is to build eight submarines to defend the seas northeast and southwest of Taiwan.